Right, so now we're going to make a tomato soup with fresh tomatoes. So, okay. The first thing I've done is I've washed my, um, washed my vegetables off and I've just got them ready. Right, first job, oven's on. we take the tomatoes, some plum tomatoes, and I'm just going to cut them in half and roast them off in the oven. Let's get them all uh, nicely cut in half, like so. Bottom of my tray. Take them over a little bit. Right, so they're in there. Then I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. A little bit. And I've got some salt. So over to my. And a little bit of sugar. Goes on there. Straight in the oven. Turn the oven down a little bit, it's a little bit uh, smoky. Right, now. Got a little bit of oil in my pan. Put a pan on the heat. And I've got one onion that I've peeled. I'm just going to cut it down to um, kind of a large dice. Like so. Just keep an eye on the pan because I don't want it to be too hot because it might um, it will burn vegetables as soon as I go in. I can drop that in. Yeah, that's good. Just keep an eye on that because otherwise it will it may burn. Just turn that off. Okay. We're going. Now I've got some carrots. I'm just going to cut the carrot down as well. Smallish pieces. So, uh, 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 uh. probably one more half. Just roughly chopped. Now I'm going to drop that in. Boom. That's a good one. Just make sure it's done burn any of the ingredients. Okay, I've also got some celery, two sticks of celery. So we'll cut the ends off. Get rid of that. And the celery's washed, so it's very dirt. I'm just gonna cut it down again into roughly chopped pieces that can go in. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt in that. Cooking along nicely, you see here. Got onion, carrot, celery, I'm just sweating it down to get ready to put the tomato paste in. Okay. Chopping board, done with the chopping board, let's do it there. Right. As you can see, I'm just in a normal style kitchen, nothing fancy. And, um, I have got a wooden spoon. Right. I should have forgot something. A little bit of garlic, but not too much. Oh, there's one. Let's do a couple of them. We'll just peel the garlic. So, keep an eye on the pan. Don't want to burn it. And a little bit more there. Okay, put them in. And then I'm just going to clean that off there a little bit. Not about the floor too much. Very smoky oven this one. So we just chop the garlic down a little bit. Like so. Drop that in there. Give it 
a little bit of a shuffle around. You can really smell the uh, celery onions, which is good. Right, now, a little bit of tomato paste. Careful with this, don't cut the fingers whilst I'm opening it. I'm also, I've named it uh, making a tomato soup with fresh tomatoes, but I'm also going to use some chopped tomatoes as well. And I couldn't find any tomato juice in the supermarkets at the moment. Ah. Okay. Let's just take that off there. Get them right off. So it's about two tablespoons of tomato puree. And we're just going to cook that out there. Right? Stirring it. Something like that. Da -da -da. Just going to keep that cooking for a little bit. Just don't forget about the tomatoes in the smoky oven. Okay. Right, I think we want to open the oven because it's so smoky that it might set the alarms up, which would be interesting. I'm just going to leave them in there a bit longer. Put that tomato paste out for about five minutes. You can really smell the tomato paste. Right now, okay. I've also got a vegetable gnaw stock here. A little bit of that helps with the seasoning of the soup. looking good, the soft vegetables are looking soft, the tomato puree has been cooked out for around five minutes or so, you see here, oh, bah, bah. Okay. Ooh, don't want to talk to the mess, okay, so let's get the tomatoes out, let's turn the oven I've just roasted the tomatoes off for about 10 minutes. They're quite soft now. There's a little bit of salt in them and a little bit of sugar. So now I've got some juices in there as well. I can just tip that all into the soup cooking container. There we go. I'm going to put that to the side. See the tomatoes have started to um, break down slightly, which is good. We'll cook that out. So now carry on cooking that out for another few minutes. But what I'm also going to do now, I'm going to add a little bit of chopped tomatoes. So just normal chopped tomatoes. Um, just put a few tablespoons in that. So you could add some tomato juice or something out or maybe just use stock. I like putting a little bit of chopped tomato. So let's start uh, what? Four tablespoons, 500 grams of tomatoes, two garlic cloves, one 
Spanish onion, and two sticks of celery. So I'm just gonna, so that's about, I'm gonna need about half a litre of water, I think. So I've got a measuring jug here. Just get the water. So that's about 500 millilitres of water. There we go. So now I've got the Nor cube. However, I'm not going to use a whole one. I'll just use maybe half a one. So I'll just drop that in there. Or maybe a little bit more. That's, there we go. Giving that a mix around. Now I'm going to drop some water in there. That's 500 millilitres, so that's about 300 millilitres. That's about probably just a little bit more. I mean, if it's too thick, we can always thin it down later on anyway. Just have a look at that. We've got, and now I'm just going to carry on cooking that out. Maybe another. Five minutes. What I'm also going to do now is get add a little bit of sugar. Got a tablespoon, tablespoon of sugar in there. Not too much. So half, one and a half. Okay. Now I'm just going to cook that out. Like I said, for about ten minutes. Let's just give it a quick taste. You really get the, um, the vegetables and the tomato flavour, it's really nice. Right. So now... So I'm just going to finish it off with a little bit of basil. Take a few pieces, maybe that much, of the basil, take any dirty bits out, just drop that up there. Like so, just, da -da -da. can you see this? Yeah, just cut this down a little bit. And I'll use that uh, in a little bit. So I'm going to keep the soup on there bubbling away for about 10 minutes or so and then I'll come back to the um, finishing of the soup. Okay, so the soup's been bubbling away on there for about 10 minutes or so. So now I'm just going to finish it off. First of all, I need to blitz the soup. So I've got a mini herb stick blender that I'm going to use to blitz the soup. Stick blender. I'll just take it off the heat. And you need to be very careful because you don't want it to splash because it's very, very hot. Don't splash yourself. has pureed down very well. I'm very impressed by the new stick blender. Okay, but now I need to season it. Again, so we'll just have a quick taste. See what it tastes like. Yeah. So we put a bit more salt in that. And then I'm gonna drop the basil in that. And one more final blitz. Oh shit. I 
I've just splashed everywhere because I was trying to do a little dance. Right, okay, so we've got the soup there. The next thing that I want to do is I want to pass the soup through a fine chinois or strainer. I've got this device. And I'm just going to pass it through into another saucepan. Let's put it on there, let's just put it straight in there. Might need a little bit of a push through. Slowly going through there. I may put a little bit more basil in the once I've passed it all. I don't really like too many lumps. Try and get it smooth. Let's go through there. Da, 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 da. And that'll also take out any seeds that are in that. Squish all that in there. Put the rest in there. A little bit more, let's get the soup going through. Ba -da -ma 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 -ma. Okay. I do like soups. I mean, I enjoy making soups. Um, you know, you can make very, very simple soups, like a potato and a. An onion soup, just plain potato and onion with minimal ingredients, and then you can also do the very more luxurious kind of lobster style bisque, you know, with miniature raviolis in the soup. Um, luxury end style, so you've got the, the very basic to the very more luxurious. This soup is also a healthy soup, so I put no cream in that, I put no flour in that. Um, there's no butter, it's just a little bit of oil to keep it as healthy as possible. But if you like, you can always add cream to finish them off, you can also add a little bit of butter that enhances the flavour. However, I'm just keeping this completely vegan and gluten free. As you can see, I've got, got most of that pulp there has been pushed through. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Just like that. Look at that. Stick it like that. Spoon. So let's have a taste. Put my head on the canopy. Oh yeah. Really taste the tomatoes. Oh. It's a good one. It's a good one. I mean, you could always put a little bit more um, basil in there for you. But that, but that is a really good tomato soup. So, let's just get it in a bowl. And let's have some. Um, So, oh yeah, here we go, tomato soup, just leave it over there, made a bit of a mess, but you know, it's my kitchen, so who cares, that is a really nice tomato soup, vegan free, gluten free, healthy, budget healthy, food healthy, a little bit of sugar, you don't have to put it in there. But thank you very much, and I hope you try this recipe, because it is pretty.